Hey there, folks. This is Max, and welcome to another workflows video. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a, a flow that uh, lists all users assigned to an application, and then will save those users into a table. Okay, so this is going to be kind of a how-to guide. Now, this is a, an existing solution that I built, but of course, I'm going to build one from scratch for you. So again, we're gonna uh, we're gonna find out all the users assigned to a particular application. And then we're going to save those users into a workflows table. Okay. So first, let's create our first flow. And then we'll give this a name. This is going to be uh, find users assigned to application. We're going to check this so we can, this will help us when we test the flow. Now, we're not going to have an event because we're just going to test it, uh, run it via this button. Uh, and so our first card is going to be using the Octa connector and then searching list. Let's see here. So list users assigned to application. So we're going to select that. Now we're going to use the stream um, options, but before we do that, I'm going to use this option because this allows me to test this card without having a uh, helper flow. Now, you do need to select a particular application. So again, this works with a particular application. So in my case, I'm going to use Salesforce. I'm going to save. Now, the outputs are fine here. Now, test. So I think I have three users assigned to Salesforce. I know only three, but all right. And we can see that I get back three users assigned to application. OK, now we're going to keep this as is, and then we're going to go and create a second flow, uh, and then we will change this to, to streaming. So let's go, let's say first. Um, let's go to flows and let's create another flow. And this is going to be save user um, into a table. Again, history. All right. Now this is going to be helper flow. And so for that, for this flow to be helper flow, we're going to go and make this a helper flow. And then because we're going to be using it with streaming, um, the input is record, and then here we're going to do state. Now, record is uh, it defaults to string, but we want to select object. Same thing here. So, record is the current record is being streamed to the helper flow. So, this will have the current um, sort of the current item, and then state. This can contain any additional inputs that you want to pass to this helper flow. So, we're going to be passing the application name. Um, and well, let's see, let's test this because we're going to see how, what data we have in here, and then we're going to build this a little bit more. So let's save. Now let's go back to our first flow. So find users assigned to application and go to options. And then we're going to make a stream. Now, when you do that, it, it's asking you to select a flow. So that's why I, I use the other option first. Um, and then let's see here. All right, let's save. Now let's turn this on. Let's open this flow, the helper flow. Let's turn this on. And then let's go to history. Okay, so let's test. All right, so you see record stream three records, and that's what we saw before. And going here, we can see the three records pass. Now, nothing else happened, but this is the data from the record that being, uh, that's being passed, All right? And so we can see, we can see, oh, we actually, I can see here a state. We forgot to pass the application in, so we'll do this in a second. Uh, but so what we need is system properties here and then credentials. And then this is the username. So the path is system properties and then credentials and then username. Now, to get that, we're going to use a, a function called uh, get. Now we're going to pass in the entire current item. And then here, this is credentials and then user. So the, act the, the case has to match exactly. And then here we can rename this just to make it a little bit more 
meaningful um, username. Okay, save. Now let's go back here and actually let's add another. So we want this to be application name. Um, so instead of input, application name. Now this name has to match exactly this name and it does. And then we're gonna salesforce.com. Okay. And let's save. Okay. Now, so we get this. So we'll extract the username from that object, the current item. And then the last step is we want to create uh, a table. Um, so let's add function. And then let's go to tables, create a row. Now we don't have a table, but if we click here, we can click new table and let's give this a name. So users sign to application application. So if I can spell table, right, save. Now column, this is going to be username of type text, and then I can click add another, and this is going to be application and create. All right, so I got the two columns. All right, let's go back here. Let's choose a table. And so this is the one, save, and then save. And now, so the username, we're gonna pass it from here, and then the application name is gonna come from the helper flow input. All right, save. Uh, let's um, go back to our first flow and let's run this. Okay, let's see here, go to flow history. So three more, uh, three more runs. And you can see that this object get how uh, this is the path. And then we can see how it retrieved the email. And then we got the email. Oh, this is nice. What is this message here? Well, we'll see if it works. Um, and then the username and the application name are then passed into a table. And if I go to a table and refresh, I should see uh, the three users. So they're now safe. So they're assigned to Salesforce and then they're saved into this table. One more thing I'm quickly going to do is, let's say before each run, you want to clear the table. So it's also we can do, I'm going to go to tables and then clear table. And then I'm going to choose a table. All right. And save. Nothing to really do here. So before, every time before we run this, now you can of course schedule this to run, um, you know, every you know, day or any you know, every week and so on. But we're gonna test, so we're gonna first clear, then get all the users, then stream into the helper flow, and then save them into our uh, table. So let's test. Okay, let's go here. I think we got another three more runs here. Uh, and you can see once I select a different run, the email here changes, of course. And finally, if I go here, well, the result should be very similar, but at least the table, we know that the table clears and then we get uh, only the most recent run saved into this table. Um, well, cool. I think that's all I wanted to show you. Again, we're getting all the users assigned to a particular application uh, and then saving those users into a table. And then we can perhaps export that information into some other somewhere else and then use it or email it to someone. Um, and I think that's it. One thing, um, uh, so this is kind of a how to guide. And if you go to my blog quickly here, I, um, so this is based, um, um, again, so this is kind of based on questions from office hours or from uh, a Slack uh, community channel. 
Um, so you can see other questions here. And again, I'm going to post the video here uh, so you can watch it. And then, of course, see all the other questions as well. Um, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. And I will see you next time.